Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from CleverProgrammer.com and uh, as you can probably tell, we're trying out something new here. In this video, what we're gonna cover is we're gonna teach you how you go about building apps, but before you get to that level, you need to know how you can actually think logically about creating those apps. Once you get those logical skills up, something I cover in my free course, if you guys are in it, we're gonna be doing coding challenges on Python, okay? This is what's gonna allow you, so then when you are creating those web apps that I'm gonna be teaching you guys in my OOP course, you're ready for them and ready to go, okay? So let's get our coding challenge started. So I'm on this website called Hour of Python, and we're just gonna do some coding challenges live, and we'll see how it goes. The first thing I see is it says string challenges and we're just going to hit and open it up. So let's say we go to lowercase challenge, okay? And what I'll do for you guys so you guys can try these challenges as well, I'll put it right below this video so you can actually code in here and give it a try. All right, so this one is pretty simple. If I gave you any string, just give me a lowercase version of it. So let's say I gave you hello in all caps if you call, if we call your function on it, it should just turn it all lower case, okay? Uh, so let's give that a try. All right, so I go to my line 11. Uh, I don't know if I'm pointing, I'm probably pointing wrong because I'm just trying out, we're trying out this new thing, but let's, let's give it a try. And uh, one method in Python that I remember is lower. So that makes our life very simple. We get a string, we call our lower method on it, and that just makes it lowercase. Uh, so let's run this and give it a try. Okay. All right. And as you can see, we were given capital arg and capital trinket, but what it spit out is lowercase arg and lowercase trinket. So fantastic, we did a great job there Let's move on to the next challenge. The next challenge is uppercase. So what if we're given anything that's lowercase or any different case, we wanna just return it in uppercase. For example, let's say you're making a blogging website and you wanna show the title in uppercase no matter how the user puts it. So let's say that you have somebody on your website, a user that logs in and then creates a new title. What if we want that title to always be lowercase even though the user might have put it in lowercase? Well, that's where this challenge will help you in Python. So then we're building those bigger apps. You have the tools and the strategies when you need them, okay? So let's go ahead and give it a try. Uppercase is very simple. It's just like what we did previously. We can make it more complicated, but we're gonna do a similar thing. So as you can see, they have written some of the code for us. It says, um, define uppercase string. So we're, getting, we're, call, we're creating a function called uppercase. It takes in some string and then on line 11, we can do something similar and we can say dot upper, okay? That's uh, again, a method in Python. So if we're given lowercase arg and a lowercase trinket, it should actually print it all in caps. So let's give that a try. Boom, works perfectly. And in the next video, we're gonna cover a new challenge called switch case challenge. That one is a little bit trickier, but I want you guys to give that a try. That's it for this video. I love you guys so much. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.